Harar is considered Islam's fourth holiest city. It boasts 82 mosques and more than 100 shrines. Its medieval old town has been recognized by UNESCO as unique in East Africa. The surrounding region is turning out to be a treasure trove for archaeologists, anthropologists, and speleologists, or cave explorers. It's not far from where remains of the oldest known human ancestors, Lucy and Ardi, were found, shedding light on the origins of humanity. But as a tourist destination, these sites are practically off the map. Harar is a day's drive east of Addis Ababa, so getting there can be an adventure in itself. That hasn't stopped dreamers like Italian scholar Marco Vigano from looking past the obstacles to the potential. It's a cradle of humanity and there's so much to be discovered. Discoveries are a regular occurrence here. A few kilometers outside Harar, a guide leads visitors up a mountainside to a cave chiseled by the Harla people who lived here for centuries. He splashes water on the outside wall and it seems to come alive, revealing ancient secrets. The people sleeping together with goats and the, the, with cows. Yeah, you can see horns. Yes. 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 These 500 to 1,000 year old cave paintings are young compared to the skeleton of Ardi, an upright hominid more than 4 million years old, discovered in Ethiopia's Great Rift Valley. The area where Ardi was found is a difficult drive from Addis with little in the way of tourist accommodations. Also, a nearby volcano erupted four years ago, ripping open a crack in the Rift Valley. Scientists say it's getting wider every year and the area could eventually become a new ocean. Professor Ahmed Zakaria, a cultural anthropologist at Addis Ababa University, says Ethiopia still holds many secrets. The Rift Valley gives you a scenario of human evolution. Paleontologists are telling us every season they're coming with stones and bones which catapults us back into nebulous past. Scientists say Ethiopia is a work in progress, anthropologically, geologically, and touristically. But if they're right about that new crack in the earth, this landlocked country could become a beach resort, say, within a few thousand centuries. Peter Heinlein, VOA News, in the town of Harar in eastern Ethiopia.